The Auckland Arts Festival is our region's biggest celebration of New Zealand and international arts and culture. The 2011 festival program presented a huge variety of entertaining, challenging, engaging and unique art and performance. Auckland Arts Festival brings a lot of life to the city. A lot of people just seem to be coming in after work, in between classes, catching up with friends and I think it's very inclusive. The main difference that I can see about the festival this year is specifically the festival garden. The actual layout of it has been way improved. They've completely nailed that. They have a lot of the Crystal Palace and a lot of things going out there. It's nice and bold and very easy to move around in and um, the coffee's great. <laughs> There have been a few nights when I've been in the bar at one o'clock in the morning out, out in Aotea Square and you know, it's buzzing. What was the great pleasure was seeing two or three thousand people here on a night that would normally be empty. There was this international vibe, this vibe of we can go out eat and drink together and watch things and celebrate. I was like, this is it, this is the Auckland we've been looking for. What I liked most about the Auckland Festival was the chance to be out every single night and do something cultural and artistic every night of the week. In the past, the Auckland program has never sort of really grabbed me. This time I sort of picked up the program and I couldn't put it out. We went to see the uh, Vietnamese water puppets. The Handel Opera. Smoke and Mirrors. Jack de Jonet. The show must go on. Douglas Wright's Wrapped. I've uh, been to 12 shows in this festival and not a single day. White Night was a new initiative where over 58 galleries and spaces were open from 6 till midnight with a variety of art and other events. White Night is about opening up the doors of the galleries to the public at night. We've had busloads of people coming out from all over the city and every gallery worth its salt. It provides something for people to go to outside of the performing times. It gives a kind of a broader festival experience. The great gift of the festival is that it brings community and new audiences and builds a kind of energy and relationship to art making that allows us to think about the work differently. I am at the Auckland Festival Family Day in Aotea Square. There are shows going on. There's also things like you can teach your kid how to protest or make a puppet or get them a tattoo or they could just listen to some fantastic music. One of the major goals of this festival was to increase the number of young Aucklanders accessing the festival. They're going to be inspired, I think they're going to be future audiences um, and they're going to be future artists. <laughs> Probably the most dancey of our Dance France shows, Gregory Makoma's Beautiful Me is the African work in the program. Makoma is another of the new generation of emerging dance artists. Accompanied by three musicians, he communicates with energy and joy in his dance an optimistic view of post-colonialism in Africa. Beautiful Me is a fervid affirmation of joy in the self. People are learning things about art and dance in particular that they wouldn't have the opportunity to do otherwise. The festival gives people the opportunity to work out and do things that they might not normally be able to do. We need to make sure that the festival survives. The heart of a city is its arts and culture and therefore that we must protect the festival. Auckland is a festival, events and show city. We are one of the world's great cosmopolitan cities. We are going to embrace that, that energy, that idealism that gives us our competitive edge in the world and we're going to deliver that back to the world in spades. We are cool. We've got a mission, positive vibrations, let's keep it pure for the next generation. 
think it's a big opportunity for Aucklanders and New Zealanders to see something they wouldn't usually see. Well, I think it gives the city life and excitement. I think Auckland Festival is a great thing. It brings attraction to the city and, and everyone um, feels like they're part of it. It stimulates artists here to make new work, which challenges the way we think about the world and it's crucial for a functioning, livable city, you need to have good arts. The Auckland Festival makes Auckland feel like Paris, London or Berlin. The festival is a meeting place for arts, culture and ideas, communities, friends, family, sponsors and supporters. Don't miss being a part of the 2013 Auckland Arts Festival.